Hi folks, welcome to another vlog. Uh, sorry I haven't put anything up for a couple of days, probably nearly a week or so. Um, I've been trying to sort out my missus back garden. I mean obviously all of my shit's in there. I mean, she had a load of scrap metal down the back of her shed that needed cutting up and sorting and uh, getting into the back of the van. Uh, so yeah, I spent a few days sorting that out and then we had um, we've had really bad weather here in England for the past couple of days really bad winds and rain and that and my, my little van is absolutely fucking horrendous to to drive in the rain it's, it's just so light it throws itself all over the road so i figured i'd just stay at hers chill out and yeah we just basically binge watch some shit on netflix so yeah anyway um i'm back home now uh she, she's gone pick up her daughter for the weekend but i need to um sort of just tidy my flat up a little bit you know it's it's still a shit off from when um I just moved everything in and I just haven't sorted anything out yet really so I mean look you can see it's just crap everywhere it's it's a fucking absolute pigsty at the minute so yeah I'm just going through and sorting that out but what I wanted to do is um I was I was speaking to um that shandy uh, drinking northern prick Ralphie bastard <laughs> um yeah we was talking about doing a toolbox Tuesday and the bastards fucking stole my idea and already put one up. Um, and I need to sort out some of my shit. So I'm going to do a toolbox Tuesday on a Friday. So there's my toolbox. And we're actually going to start with one particular drawer, which is this one. And you can see why. This is my spanner drawer. And then when we moved, you know, everything's just fucking gone absolutely everywhere. And then I've got a shitload of tools in that bag as well that I need to sort out. So yeah, that's basically it. This is my spanner drawer. Um, I'm going to get it sorted out, tidy up a little bit, and then I'll come back and then I'll go through some of my spanners when it looks when it actually looks pretty. Right. So I've emptied the bag. As you can see, there's no tools in there anymore. We well, never see beforehand. But I'm actually going to ignore that fucking bird's nest because that's all my CCTV cameras, my. Uh, halogen lights my infrared lights and then all the wiring associated with that they just got dumped in that bag after the tools were put in there when i ripped it all out um so yeah i'm going to deal with that in a little while i'm not gonna yeah it doesn't matter but my drawer Ta -da! that not look pretty so right here we've got metric most of this is metric apart from this rail here and then these here uh, purely and simply because I was a mechanic and well yeah I was a mechanic before I did the restorations and most of my stuff is is metric so I've got these these are beautiful these are these are trident these are absolutely fantastic little swivel head spanners you know they grip well I highly recommend them and they're cheap um, I think that whole set cost what 30 quid yeah about 30 quid for that whole set um, I've got some Kamasa these were really cheap but I do like these um, they were about 7 quid I managed to get them at a, at a car show although I've already, I'm already missing the uh, 3.8 literally the day I fucking unpacked these I used them because they, they were like when I bought these, they just had some tape around them, and I bought them, and I needed the three eight. Used it. I have no idea where it's gone since. So yeah, pissed off about that, and I can't, I can't match this to that, and that that will annoy me. That will, that will irk me. So then we come over to here. We've got these are blue point. You know these cost me a lot of money, but I'm actually missing the two most useful sizes for the UK: a thirteen and a ten. And the reason for that is, um, I used to do mobile mechanics, and then I had, um, I actually had just this bottom box in a van, and then I also had like a little hand box with like just service tools, so I could just grab that quick and everything else. But yeah, my van got broken into. Then they never managed to get into this, but they took me fucking box. So I'm missing a ten and a thirteen, but I can't get these. Uh, style head ratchets anymore you know and I actually love these that they've changed the, the blue point ones have changed to like a little toggle switch here which I can still buy 
but I refuse. I, I'm, I'm really anal. I want a nice looking set. You know, I just I don't want like all the way down there and then like, a random toggle switch. So I'll just keep looking on eBay and so I don't use this often anyway. Keep looking for a little toggle switch. Um, my little stubby spanners. That's all I've got left of an entire set from when my box got stolen. Then I've got me uh, flare flare spanners here. Oh, don't somebody's calling me. Sorry, yeah, fucking phone's been ringing all day. It's doing me fucking head in. So yeah, these are my uh, flare spanners. So you've got the snap-on ones here. I've got Halfords one here, and I did have like a set of these. I don't know where they've gone. These are just a random one I've collected over the years. It's a piece of shit one. And I've got me uh, rear shoe adjuster there. So these uh, are dog legs or swan necks, Imperials. Yeah, they're quite cool in their little stand. And I've got some flat spanners here. These are always handy. Can't get a lot of torque on them, but they're handy as fuck. Then I've got... Um, yeah, so I've got some, the, the bigger drapers here, I've got to, I can't fucking see the light of shit in there. 23 there, I've missing me 24, I don't know where it's gone. Fucking 21's broken. Look at that. Now, I, I, I had some fucking pressure on that bastard. I need to replace that. And then these uh, are snap-on, I haven't had these that long. I think I've got these probably about two, three years ago, just as I was leaving the garage. Love these, but they only go 19 to 10, and these are the proper snap on flank drives. If you've got the money, rep up. I really do recommend these, these are fucking beautiful. And these are my old spanners, uh, the Halfords. Yeah, these are really good to be fair. You know, for they are, I've got them all down there. Um, I'm going to keep these, there's a couple missing, you know, from when my box was stolen, but I'm going to keep these. Um, from the home home kit, I just replace these. But I just there for a minute because I need to sort that. Out. And then I've just got some sacrificial spanners. Now you always need a spanner that you need to adjust or modify or fuck about with. You know, bend it in a weird shape. So you know, just you always aim to keep there. And then I've got um, that's for me spray guns. That shouldn't be in there. That's just there out of the way. Then I've got a little C spanner for like doing. A little scene up uh, what, uh, coil overs and stuff, and then one of them bad boys. I don't even know what that's called. What that's called. You can see I've had some shit on it. So yeah, uh, toolbox Tuesday Friday. <laughs> um, I will be doing a proper toolbox Tuesday. I'll be doing it this Tuesday as well for another draw. So the top box will go. Like that, so we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then nine, ten. Obviously, we've all right, so yeah, we'll do it like that. Put put the number of the draw that you want to see. So that's it for this video. Got to give a shout out to Ralphie, you know, as much as I took the piss out of him at the beginning of the video, he's a proper sound bloke. Please go check out his channel, links in the description, the same as the rest of his. Um, go check out Joey at Mill, Mill Creek Fab Shops. Fab shop, fuck me, I, I, I've done this, f seriously, three times, I fucking tried to do that, I tongue twister, Mill Creek Fab Shop, fuck you Joey, go check him out as well, links in the description, um, go check out um, Pepito's Casa de Welding, you know, he sent me the welding helmet, absolutely fantastic bloke, speak to him on the phone quite a bit, um, he hasn't got much on, on his channel at the minute, but he, he's doing bits and bobs, um, I'm trying to we're trying to get him to put his face on camera. So drop a comment on this video saying, Danny sent you, get your face on camera. Um, you've got to give a shout out to Arco and Heidi, obviously. Um, you know, but that they've sort of orchestrated most of this and getting us all together and helping each other out. Um, and then Mike O'Knight, um, he's also just starting. Um, he's looking at doing, um, I'm not really sure exactly what he does. I don't know him that well. But, you know, from his introductory video, you know, he's looking at sort of doing more sort of tight space sort of stuff, um, sort of like uh, organisation stuff. But yeah, he's, he's, he's only got an introductory video up as I'm recording this. I'm going to post it pretty much now. Um, yeah, so go give him a check out and a sub. Uh, let him know that, you know, I sent you. Um, 
and then uh, NZ Mopar over in New Zealand. Uh, go give him a sub. You know, he's doing some real cool stuff. He's doing a 25 Studebaker at the minute. It's awesome. You know, go, go check them all out. All the links are in the description. Um, you know, drop them all a comment and a like, a sub. Let them know that uh, Danny sent you. Also, check out my Teespring store. You know, please get some merch. You know, it really does help. Um, follow me on Facebook, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, please check out my Patreon. You know, every little helps. You know, sub, like, all the rest of it. I'll, uh, I'll speak to you later. Bye.